Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Sunscape Familiar. I'm Kelly Kais. We're playing the Popper Challenge, a brand new challenge that's happening on Friday this week, 9 a.m. Let's see how it goes. So I'm taking my most recent 5-0 list where we've upgraded to 20 lands instead of 19, putting in one more island. Still playing the three Lauren Revealed and focusing on the Modern Age and Deep Analysis as a ways to force through and go over the top of our opponents. And then our Counterspell Suite has switched to two Loose Focus and one Counterspell. I mean, it's because Loose Focus is much better in the early game. Counterspell can lock out your opponent. And with the 20 lands, I feel that we are better at mulliganing. We're gonna have better openers. And then the Modern Age is gonna help us uh, with Flood. So that's the main changes to the main deck. In the sideboard, I've got two Last Breath, to destroy evil and three nature's chance to handle the affinity deck to counterspell here for more interaction versus emblem decks so i'll have five counterspells for their emblems and then i felt that uh, prohibit was not really that great so i'm switching to negate here as my other two counterspells and four hydroblast for the red deck going a little bit fast with the deck tech today because the challenge uh, is time gated it, has, it starts at a very specific time i don't have very much time to keep going but <laughs> we'll see you there. If you want to check out uh, the patreon.com slash calicais, that's where I have sideboard guides for all of my decks. I'll put out a sideboard guide for this specific list. Uh, that should be up soon. Also, Altertron and Poison Storm. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see all the new updates that I've got, all the videos coming out. And this video is sponsored by cardmarket.com, which is the largest seller of Magic the Gathering cards in Europe. You want to put together familiars and get a battle box going definitely check out cardmarket.com all right let's get into the matches we'll see you there we're here in round one versus gregorius you still anyway this player plays familiars in paper so let's see if they're playing familiars today this hand is okay i think let's keep it we can cycle for the plains land the plains island on turn one on their turn and then we can preordain while playing that land and then we're set up for modern agent to deep analysis as well all right, they went to five. Let's play this island and pass the turn. Going to five kind of means to me that they're on some sort of combo. Ash Barons, maybe they're on Familiars. Cycles Loring Revealed. Okay, they're on Familiars most likely. But them going to five is really good for me, obviously. Play the Floodplain and Preordain. Looking for more lands. Chancery Island is good. I think we can take Bottom the Island off the Chancery. So this upcoming turn, we're going to Modern Age and discard the Deep Analysis. We could also, well, that's going to be a problem if they do have a Familiar this turn, but they went down pretty low. Modern Age, discard the Deep Analysis. We find a Familiar. So our hand is pretty stacked here. Draw. So what do we even want to discard? I guess it's going to be the Mancer. Although that's like the most powerful card in the deck at the moment. Maybe it's a loose focus here. I guess we could also discard the Ephemerate and then get it back with the Mancer. Do that. Land. Play a Familiar. Let's see if they have a counter spell. If they don't have a counter here, we are hugely favored at the moment, but they have a counter. So the question is whether I want to counter the back, and I think I do. They could have a snap on their turn. On the next turn, I have Arcane Mancer for Ephemerate with loose focus backup. Oh, I don't know. Punt. I punted. I didn't pay for the loose focus. I should have just paid. That was really stupid. I wasn't paying any attention, apparently. Now they're going to snap my familiar. Oh, they're evoking a mole drifter. Okay. Probably going to get ephemerate on the mole drifter. Okay. Bad. Find a snap. All right. I like that. So we can familiar, snap the mole drifter, untap, play our game answer, get back ephemerate. Then we'll ephemerate, getting back the Lorien Revealed. And then we can make our land drop here, cycle for an island, play the island and pass the turn. Now they lose their ephemerate. And if they hard cast the Mold Drifter, we have loose focus for it. Did not really expect a uh, mirror in game one. All right, Sunscape Familiar, sure. Augur of Bolas, okay. They're playing some fanciness over there. This is probably a Meeting of Minds deck then. Yep, there's a meeting of mines. Now if they're going ephemerate on the 
Augur, that's a second ephemerate. I'm just going to counter. They can cast Meaning of Minds now. No response. Plays a Faithful. Now they're going to tap their three creatures for Meaning of Minds. Draw a card. Draw two cards. We get our Ephemerate. Ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Get back Ephemerate. Let's start with Deep Analysis. Draw cards. Find a Flicker. So we can Ephemerate Snap this. Drifter, Flicker, Drifter. Ephemerate, get, just bounce their familiar so they have to pay more mana. Snap the fam. Let's evoke the mole drifter. Oh, I forgot that I had. Oh, I forgot I had two familiars in play. I'm just like punting all over the place. Flicker here. Okay, they scoop it up. Nice. I uh, was not in it. This is the first game I've played today. Uh, <laughs> usually I have some warm up time. Okay, so we want the last breaths and the gates and the counter spells. And then we cut all the faithfuls and the cleric. Now we have too many uh, spells. We don't really want to cut the snaps or any of the interactions, so I think going to one last breath is fine. Okay, we're on the draw, but we have a pretty good hand. Island, preordain, and modern age. We can preordain looking for snaps or interaction, and we can modern age and pitch one of the lands. They're leading on a tap land. Okay, definitely going to Modern Age discarding an island. Preordain here. Snap and DA, like these for sure. So, I think it's probably fine to just play the Modern Age, discard these two lands, and then Chancery on turn uh, turn 3. This gives us an attacker. Wow, we're getting a lot of lands here. And if we didn't have the Modern Age, we'd be flooded out. They're brainstorming. Let's see if they also have a follow-up Augur of Bolas. All right, plays an island, two mana for an auger bolus. So they got that value. And what do they get? A snap. Okay, we have three mana. We're going to draw. We'll discard this plains that we don't need. Play the chancery, and pick up the island. There's no reason to snap the auger bolus. They play something this turn. We could maybe snap. Are you serious? Okay, that sucks. They hoodwink my land. For real. Well, I mean, what am I going to do here? I feel like I probably want to play the Chancery anyway, picking up the island. It really sucks that that happened. We have a 2-3. Your turn. Or my other Chancery. <laughs> we were really far ahead, and then we got completely steamrolled by this stupid hoodwink here. Bad card. But that's okay. We know they have Exclude in hand and Snap. I'm going to hold up the Exclude. Play Island. I'll go ahead and attack you. I'm pretty nervous that they might have a uh, Arcane Mancer to get back the Hoodwink. Find a Prohibit. Sure. Plays Mortuary Mire for no value. At this point, there's no sense in attacking because they have more power than us. We need to start blocking. They're not going to attack. Alright. Let's draw two cards. Find a Snap. All right, they're probably going to play another Meeting of Minds here. We've drawn zero counter spells, so we're going to get pretty hosed if they have another Arcane Mancer into Hoodwink. Rid of this card. Familiar for the opponent. Now all their uh, counter spells cost one. This costs one, this costs two, this costs one. Spring Leaf Drum. Yeah, okay. That's a choice. <laughs> I know that... Uh, they like this one of Spring Leaf Drum as for, for a little bit of more explosiveness. They snap their Augur of Bolas, and now they can cast it for one mana. The snap is out of their hand. See what they find. Ephemerate. Pretty solid. And Ephemerate the Augur. Okay. Rides in the gate. We have nothing going on. Let's try a deep analysis. They don't have too many counter spells right now. Play Island. Oh my god. Discard, discard. I think we're going to lose this one. Still, like, very behind. Zero interaction from our side. They find a Brainstorm. Evoke a Mole Drifter. Brainstorm. Now, I guess they're looking for an Ephemerate. Or a Flicker, maybe. Find a Meaning of Minds. So they draw back into the cards they saw with the Brainstorm. All right. There's a Plains. Okay, I'm going to scoop... I have no counterspells, and they're just going to hoodwink my thing with the Ephemerate lock. 
That was nonsense. Um, let's just do the same thing. I mean, I could maybe cut a land on the draw next next time. That sucked. All right, we have a couple cantrips. Got the snaps. Counterspell. Opponent mulligans to six. Five now. They're probably on a no preordain list. All right, they keep five. We'll go island preordain. Bottom the drifters. Looking for lands. We find a land. They're going to Ash Baron, so I'll probably turn to Chancery. Let's go land. Play the Modern Age. I can just ditch the Ephemerate here. A Chancery. Probably discard a Snap. This is tough. I think I'm going to cycle this for the uh, Duel and then Preordain again. Counterspell and an Island. I think I want both of these here. On top. Why is this not working? Okay. Some lag with Magic Online. Okay, so if they have a Hoodwink, I'd be annoyed, but it's not the end of the world. They play a Familiar. I'll try my own Fam. They only have five cards in hand. Okay, that resolves. So, your turn. They have four mana. They could try hard casting a Drifter here. Merchant Scroll. Okay. Merchant Scroll Enjoyer. What's he gonna get? A Snap? I was just going to grab the stupid Hoodwink. Might go for a Meeting of Minds and then tap the mana to use the Meeting of Minds. Minds are Prohibit. Okay. Snaps my Arcane are familiar, so now what? Prohibit and three unknowns. Counterspell looking not great in this moment because it's just too many pips. Go Counterspell. Now he has to use a Prohibit. Two cards in hand. Probably return the Prohibit. Turns Merchant Scroll. Wacko. Did not have an Ephemerate. Go Sunscape Familiar. Cast a Preordain. Bottom the Modern Age. Top the Island. Play the Island. Bounce your Familiar. Play a Modern Age. We'll discard this Familiar here and attack for two. So he has Familiar and Merchant Scroll in hand. Familiar enters the battlefield. Okay. Roll. Feels their own counterspell. Okay. Now we're just hanging out. Both of us have a counterspell. I'm going to cycle this right now. For our planes. Draw. Discard the planes. And I'll attack. Interesting they got specifically counterspell. Plays a land. Let me know two of the cards in their hand. Counterspell. Played a mole drifter. We're going to counter it. We're going to replicate a lose focus on that counterspell. Or on the Mole Drifter. They have one card in hand. I don't know why I said that. I knew two of their cards. Everybody's top decking. Final lose focus. Okay, so I need a Mole Drifter or Deep Analysis. So lose focus is here to stop them from getting any card advantage. Murmuring Mystic does not matter. Play the Chancery picking up an island. Attack for four. Currently winning the race. They're on a three turn clock. Although the Mystic's going to pump out tokens soon. No attacks from the opponent. Find a Flicker. Attack with both. I think I play the Island. There might have been some calls to keep the Island in hand. They play another Island, so they top deck an Island. You can attack with the Bar Vector Gliders. Alright, play the Chancery. Pick up an Island. So now if something crazy happens, I can Flicker a Vector Glider and discard this Island. All right, we won the game apparently. They said the GG's. They must have just flooded out there. They didn't draw anything that draws cards, only the one Mold Drifter, which we countered. Let's see what happens. Let's swing out. I'm not going to play any spells and they can't counter anything, so we win the match. Wild. They in match two. That exclude in hand. Exactly needed to play around that. I'm glad that I did not cast the Mold Drifter there. Whew. Okay, let's see round two. Round two versus Cicogire. I'm gonna keep this. We're on the draw. Um, he's been playing a lot of Jeskai Ephemerate. We have Counterspell for, you know, the big stuff and or the Wildfire. I'll lead on an island and pass the turn. Probably gonna have to fetch planes. So then Counterspell is not great. But we do want to hold up the loose focus. John Mayer Cleric's not very good here either. Uh, okay. 
That's not what I expected. Let's cycle for a planes. So he might be on Boros uh, glitters type stuff. But let's play the island. I can use my counter spell right now to counter the thing he plays, and then on the next turn, play Sun's Key Familiar and protect it with the one pip of loose focus. And after that, I can hard cast deep analysis. Okay, I don't care about a Thraven Inspector. Passing the turn. Let's go for Familiar. And then expecting a bolt or something, which we can lose focus. Then he'd have to have another removal spell. But we're on the board. We will counter. That's exactly according to plan. Plays a Synthesizer. Finds a Wedding Invitation. So it is the Boros Synth Glitters deck. Um, I think I probably want to cycle this for the dual land and hold up Counterspell. And then I can Counterspell... The synthesizer found a wedding invitation then didn't use it oh it says now he has double synthesizer because he just exiled the synth here so you don't really need to worry about uh countering the synthesizer it doesn't really do anything as a planes synth in hand but we can counter spell another creature from the top all right let's see so now we have the combo right we've got the modern age here uh, this card is going to allow us to discard the deep analysis and then we can get value off the deep analysis so we if we don't if we use the deep analysis and we don't find any extra cards then we can just cycle the Lorian reveal to an island and hold up snap let's try it modern age plus modern age is really good at blocking these glint glint hawks discard the deep analysis draw two cards a okay, cycle for an island and pass the turn. So it's possible that the counter spell is going to be too slow. Like, I'm not going to be able to hold it up very well. Find out. Find a planes off the synthesizer. I mean, I'm definitely happy to play against the synth deck with familiars. With all of our snaps and stuff, we might not need the Dawnbringer Cleric, but we're looking for a way to uh, get life gain. So it is something to be, have, to be good. Something that would be good to have, I mean. There's a Ginger Brute gets in for three four all right i will block let's see what we draw multiple preordains let's discard a preordain cast a preordain find an ephemerate and a land i'll take the ephemerate on top the land on top play the land i can go drifter ephemerate it can respond with a bolt then i can snap their ginger brute and counterspell the bolt let's go evoke the mole drifter Main deck Pyro. All right, we're gonna draw. Ephemerate the Mole Drifter. They have the counter spell as expected. No, I mean, uh, I thought they had a, a bolt or something. They don't have a bolt, huh? They have so many snaps. I think I'm gonna discard the counter spell. No, wait. I have lots of lands. We're probably gonna draw more lands. I really want this Chancery. Maybe I can just discard the Cleric here. Plays a core Sky Fisher. I'm gonna snap the ginger brute and then counterspell the core skyfisher. I'm gonna sacrifice the ginger brute, that is fine. Okay, picks up the synth. They find a Thraben, they'll cast the Thraben. Next turn, I have a modern age to block their flyers. And right now, I'm gonna draw two more cards plus one card for turn. I can Arcane Mancer back the uh, Ephemerate and go off. I can go like Drifter, Snap Drifter, trying to find uh, another familiar or the. Um, Faithful. So here we can ephemerate. Boom. Draw two cards. No, no faithful. For the chancery, pick up the island. Let's evoke the drifter. Snap it. Untap. Let's uh, evoke it again. You could also snap their stuff, but I don't think that's that great. Evoke the drifter. And if we're getting rid of all our snaps here, we kind of have to. Okay, there we go. Snap the Mole Drifter again, untap. Okay, we'll go Faithful. Play a Modern Age. Discard a Plains. Play another Modern Age. And discard this. Doesn't matter that much. And then I guess we could also like snap the Thraven Inspector or something. I don't know. I think I'll probably discard the Island here. They're Glint Hawking. So at this point, I'm, I really want to counter all their hawks and stuff, but it's just not, not worth it for me right now, finding all the glitters. Sure. Synthesizer. 
on the wedding invitation. We're going to allow the wedding invitation to resolve and the glitters to resolve. And we're just going to snap their creature. Play the land. They're going glitters. I mean, them just not having anything to do here is like sucky for them. They're just going to attack. All right, I'll snap it. So this is a good moment to lose focus the hawk on the way back down. They don't do anything. All right. We have lose focus. We're going to discard this Lorien Revealed, part of Preordain. Go Familiar, by the Chancery, pick up this, play Arcane Answer. I get back the Snap, and I can Snap the Arcane Answer, untap, play Arcane Answer, get back the Ephemerate, and Ephemerate, getting back the Snap. Now we should be okay. Now we just have to win the game eventually. But we can counterspell all their hawks once we find the other uh, Arcane Answer. It's fine. Pick up a Barbed Batterfist. Synthesizer again. Find another Alder Glitters. Okay. There's a Glenhawk. Picks up the Synthesizer. Find another Barbed Batterfist. There's four men available. Two Barbed Batterfists and a Glitters. There's another Synthesizer. They're running out of stuff. Like, <laughs> okay, they find a land they can play. Two cards in hand. It glitters the Glenhawk again. Okay. Play a Barb Batterfist. Fine. I don't even need to block this. I'm just gonna wait till next turn to use my mana. Okay, because I want to counterspell that stupid thing. Make them stop having uh, more Hawks coming. We'll ephemerate. So we get some more creatures. And snap this. Making a bunch of mana. Tap. Hardcast a Drifter. You can go Faithful, Preordain, Flicker, and a Chancery. Bottom this, pop the Flicker. Now play the Floodplain, passing the turn. Here I'm going to Counterspell and then Ephemerate getting back Counterspell. Counterspell, just stopping the Hawks. No more Hawks. No more Hawks. We got to pay attention to the clock though. They have three cards in hand. They crack a clue. Okay. Three mana, they're gonna snap crack the synthesizer. Very soon we'll be able to just take them out. We have all our creatures to attack with. I think the synthesizer found a land. We're gonna equip the batter fist onto the hawk. Okay. I'm going to ephemerate. Get back counterspell. They have, a, they have a galvanic, so I'll counter the galvanic. Alright. Like they don't have any more interaction. Get back a loose focus, I guess. Attack for three. I will eat their creature with my mole drifter. Let's trade it. I'm fine with trading my drifters for their creatures because I can get them back eventually. We'll ephemerate. They only have two flyers now. We can just snap whatever other flyer. Hey, like I said, more terrain mire. Get back mole drifter. And we'll attack with everything. All my creatures in the air. They're going to put... Alright, that's fine. We will... Hmm. I guess it's better to just, uh, let's ephemerate, get back, counterspell, and then play another Moldrifter. They scoop it up, yeah. We don't have to fight through it. Okay, we're looking for probably the Destroy Evil or the Dawnbringer Cleric, and then Nature's Chant. Um, we need some number of Hydroblast. Probably still need the counterspell to lock them out of the game eventually. Last Breath can also be pretty good against their creatures. Snaps are not necessarily quite as good, but they are good versus the Glitter deck, right? Maybe the Destroy Evil is not necessary. And then on the draw, I'll cut this Broker's Hideout or an Island. I will cut an Island. Alright, we have an Unkeepable Hand with the Mulligan. This is probably decent. We can just put back one Deep Analysis or the Counterspell. Uh, back the Deep Analysis. Just in case we uh, have to fight over a glitter creature. So I'm going to brokers specifically to grab the planes here and then turn to the faithful and the chancery. Okay, they play a great furnace. Synthesizer for the opponent. Finding a lembus that they can't cast. Okay, we'll go faithful as it, as I expected to do. Play the chancery. Pick up the planes. Your turn. On their end step next turn, we can cycle for an island using the white, still holding up counterspell. 
a Glenhawk, pick up the synthesizer, finding a lightning bolt. So that's going to go face. They have metalcraft right now if they want it, but they don't. They don't galvanic my guy, my creature, but my lady. Let's pass. The question is whether or not I want to counter the synthesizer. It seems like it would be good. No value. I have to have another uh, value spell. So deep analysis is also good versus pyroblast decks like this kind of deck because if we just jam the mold drifter, they could pyroblast. That's a huge trade on mana. But we can just slam the deep analysis, and if they pyro, it doesn't do anything. We're also trying to win the game by stalling basically with God Pharaoh's Faithful here. If that resolves, we're gonna cycle for an island. They might relic away this counter spell and then make my life difficult as far as closing out the game goes. They get in for two, but they were kind of cool and scooped early last time, so who knows? All right, um, I think I'm just gonna play the Chancery past the turn. No attacks. They have another synthesizer. Okay. Fuck. Finds a relic. So. If we had played the deep analysis and had it get countered, then they would have been able to relic away everything that turn, and that would have been really sucky for me. I feel like they probably have Pyroblast in hand, but I'm not really doing anything right now. There's a Modern Age. That's pretty solid. So we can discard the planes now. If they Pyroblast this, we can snap the Hawk and get the Moldrifter down. Although that'll give them some extra value, so we probably want to snap our Faithful. Let's discard the planes. The island. That's the turn. Next turn, we're probably going to discard the Chancery and then just go deep analysis, flashback, deep analysis. They crack the relic right now. Okay. Interesting. They got rid of my counter spell. We have to rely on the Modern Age to win the game. Well, Modern Age plus Mold Drifter and Hydro Blast, I guess. Play a Great Furnace here. It glitters their creature. Okay. So now we have to. Go for the snap. They have a pyroblast, then we can next turn just slam the mold drifter as a blocker. Alright. Draw. Discard the chancery. We'll go island. Faithful into mold drifter. Another pyro. Right 11. Next turn we're gonna have a modern age, but we're dead to a bolt. Or a double glitter, I guess. Okay. Lots of thinking just to make that happen, but did work out so we want the destroy evil then over the last breath maybe even the nature's chant really not kind of frustrating but it's okay so maybe counter spell is not better than negate and looks like a trap to me because if the familiar dies we probably lose i'm gonna mulligan okay this looks a lot better we'll keep it i think we can put back a card being Guess the Mold Drifter. Well, we just want a lot of cards, right? What's our plan? Land, cycle, turn two, fam. All right, we'll just put back the preordain because we're not using it right away. Land, pass the turn. Okay, they crag. Cycle. Have an island. Play out the familiar. They go lightning bolt on the familiar. There's a great furnace. I think that we're going to go familiar to modern age the plan being to discard the deep analysis hopefully they don't have a relic this turn as a synthesizer we find all that glitters yes we faded to glitters bolt the familiar no plays a land if they want they can all the glitters my sons get familiar they don't find an ephemerate i like all the cards in my hand okay i guess i discard snap here and use the deep analysis and we'll counter their pyroblast draw two all right pass the turn if i find another island i can drift or ephemerate with negate backup or if they tap out i don't want to yield because i have ephemerate on the familiar to save it potentially find a planes off their synthesizer the three mana as a wedding invitation scary Looking for an island. Snap. Okay. Let's play the Modern Age. Discard. I think I have to discard the Preordain. Hmm. This is a tough one. Maybe I can just discard the Snap. I don't have any creatures yet. I'm just going to discard the Snap. 
man. I'm going to bottom both of these. Wow. Cannot find an island to save myself. A sky fisher. Picking up the synthesizer, finding a relic. So at least this turn we can play the familiar, hold up negate, and just... You know, we want all these four cards, so whatever we loot away is probably not better than these. Two of our interactions for a glittered creature are gone, but one of their glitters is gone. We do have the two destroy evils in the deck now. Although maybe, like, just nature's chant would have been better than destroy evil, because it takes out the glitter as well as the relic. So, for future games, maybe that's better. Okay, they have... One mana open. So we're going to discard one of these cards. Make the hideout. Cycle the Lorien revealed. Grabbing an island. Play the island. Play the familiar. No attacks. They crack the relic. And, uh, that's not how a Boros opponent usually plays it out, but I think that was a wise decision from them. They have a synthesizer that we're not going to negate. What did they find? The Galvanic. They can take out the Vector Glider or the familiar. Probably, I don't know if I can respond to the Galvanic here. I think I have to just let it go. Especially because if I let it go, then they have only one mana open. Galvanic on the familiar, okay. Yep, that's, I not really do anything about that. And uh, hold up the Drifter Ephemerate with protection. I think that's just more important to me right now. We're going to evoke the Drifter. I mean, if you have Pyroblast, you cast it right now. So you either do or you don't. Okay, they have the Pyroblast, I have the Negate. Drifter comes into the battlefield, we draw two cards, we draw two more cards. Now we can get back our Familiar, Mortuary Mire on the Familiar, and pass the turn. We've got Faithful, or we can just like, hold, try to hold up the Destroy Evil. They're gonna crack a Synthesizer, it looks like. Finding a Windscarred Crag and making a 2-2. Two -two. Plays a Windscarred Crag, gaining a life, going to 22. We don't have counterspell on the deck anymore. I didn't I meant to actually take counterspell out of the deck, so I don't know. I don't really know how I sideboarded there. A little wonky for me. We do have the destroy evil, which is nice. Let's try to ephemerate the mole drifter. See if they have a removal spell. Looks like yes. Pyroblast on the familiar or the mole drifter. Okay, let's play another familiar. Well, we can play faithful mole drifter, gain one life, go to 18. Probably better to just get the familiar in play. Put another Moldrifter on the table. Okay, we find a plane, so now I can play my Faithful. Next turn I'll have Destroy Evil up from now on. I think I'm at the point where I'm going to start attacking. They find a Lembus. Okay. They can cast the Lembus. They're going to Scry. Get rid of this cards, these cards. So we can see a little bit better. They Scry one top. So it's probably a removal spell or a Pyroblast. Could also be a glitters. And this Lorien revealed we want to cast as a three, a draw three. So next turn we're looking to go tap tap tap, play Mole Drifter, keeping Destroy Evil available. They have an all the glitters for the Skyfisher. They probably wedding invitation right now. If they don't, I'm blocking with the Drifter. Do we have an ephemerate in exile? No. Okay, so they're gonna swing for nine, which is fine. We're going to blow it up, cast a Mole Drifter. Go to nine, find a faithful, play an island. I'm gonna just modern age here. Gains me life going to 11. Discard deep analysis, swing my fires. So I don't think they have 11 damage unblockable next turn. Novice inspector. So one, two, you know, they have a large number of uh, artifacts, but I don't know how many <laughs> anymore. Play a relic, they probably crack the relic right now. Yep. I mean, I think with eight power in the air and they have no flyers, it's gonna be tough. They synthesizer and they find an ancient den and play it. I'm going to loot. I'll discard this island. Cast Lorien revealed. Let's see if that seals the deal. Draw three. Okay. Uh, go faithful. Look at the top two and uh, let's scry and draw with a preordain. Gain a bunch of life with the faithful. I feel like this is where they would usually scoop. Let's see what happens. They're not giving up. They have an ephemerate and a modern age. Let's top these. Swing. So, what are they doing? Tax the Limbus to gain life. Oh, it's not two turns, I guess. They're going to take eight, going to 11. Let's attempt to snap the Mole Drifter. If this resolves, we can probably just Drifter Ephemerate. It resolves. 
we will evoke the drifter. Draw two. Still have the one blue available. Draw. Ephemerate the mole drifter. Find a hydroblast. I need to find out. And we win the game. Let's go. We'll see you in round three. Okay, round three versus Boy Triton. And they're a multi format grinder. So let's see what we can do. They're probably going to play some sort of uh, glitter deck. We don't have a really good opener here. I think I'm, we got a mulligan this one. This is pretty solid. Let's keep, put back one of the drifters. Lead on faithful and pass the turn. Okay, our opponent's playing Cogate. Sweet. Let's just go familiar turn two. Hopefully they don't have a uh, face uh, journey to nowhere right now. They play another Seagate with a Sacred Cat. If I find a land, I can... If, hmm. I think I'm just going to evoke the Drifter for a draw two. No lands. That's a bummer. They play the Modern Age. So one of the ways we could lose this match is by them resolving a Guardian. I want to make sure they don't resolve a Guardian. All right, I'm going to evoke a Mole Drifter again because we need lands. Can't really play a Lose Focus if I don't have lands. All right, pass the turn. So on this end step, we can cycle for an island, and then we can Arcane Mancer back the Lorien Revealed. Familiars is generally pretty favored here, but we'll see what happens. If they slam a Guardian, I'll be sad. Yep, they put it down. All right, so we just have to make sure we stay ahead on life. Godfrey's Faithful is pretty important. A block, and we'll cycle for an island. Okay, so I'm gonna Dawnbringer Cleric, blow up their Modern Age as well. And we'll go Modern Age, discarding the Deep Analysis again, and Deep Analysis. So we're at 21. Found another Faithful, more lands, more Org card draw. Pretty solid. They're going to need to get lots of Basilisk Gates online. Play a Squadron Hawk. That's fine. <clears throat> no problem. They get three Squadron Hawks, seven cards in hand. Plays a land and a Modern Age. What are they going to discard? They discard a Preordain. Interesting. A block. I think I should kill the Modern Age, but I don't know. It probably doesn't matter for them that they're looting a little bit. Okay. We can discard the Ash Barons now, play the land, play God Pharaoh's Faithful, um, play Archaeomancer, get back the Lorien Revealed. Do I care about anything right now? Not really. I could snap and replay the Cleric. Might as well attack with the Cleric here. I think I'm just going to Preordain. Gain a bunch more life. Another Familiar and a Preordain. I like it. They're going to loot with the Modern Age. Discarding a Dawnbringer Cleric. Interesting. They don't feel like my Modern Age is very much of a threat then. They get to do the Brainstorm Squadron Hawk thing. They have a Brainstorm. Now they're going to Squadron Hawk. That clears the Brainstorm. So they could potentially have a Counterspell now. They're back up to six cards in hand. It turns Brainstorm into an Ancestral Recall, which is really solid. But, you know, you don't have to spend three mana on it. I can spend three mana on a Lorien Revealed and draw three cards too. <laughs> Okay, paying costs. Hmm. Sacred Cat. They get in for two. Three, actually. All right. What do we draw? Preordain. Play a Sunscape Familiar. They likely have Counterspell, right? We could snap a Hawk and then draw three cards. Probably worthwhile. Or we could snap our Cleric and draw three cards. Okay, let's do that. Snap the Cleric. Later on, I can cast the Cleric to do stuff. The Counterspell. Very expected. We counter the counterspell. We untap. So now I actually feel like I should cycle for an island, but I'm going to just take the risk that I'm going to draw land. Let's draw three cards. Yeah, we drew land. Go island, preordain. Now the Lorien Revealed just are feeling really good. We have another island and another familiar. Yep. Uh, That's fine now. I kind of want to play the Dawnbringer Cleric to blow up the Modern Age so that I can attack with my Vector Gliders, basically. We're brainstorming, trying to find a Basilisk Gate to pressure me, but we're just not really that worried about it. Got Pharaoh's Faithful gaining tons and tons and tons of life. We have a Squadron Hawk again to clear the Brainstorm, but they don't get quite as much value this time, although they do get to shuffle. Plays a Seagate, still cannot find a Basilisk Gate apparently. 
Okay, play another sacred cat. Get in. Okay. Let's start with another familiar. Then I'll Dawnbringer Cleric, blow up your Vector Glider. Beardane, they might have a counter spell at this point. I'm looking for a deep analysis. Nice. And bottom of the floodplain, take the deep analysis, play land. Deep analysis for one mana. I mean, spell pierce would be something we're walking into, but I don't think. I mean, just getting out of their hand is probably okay. If they spell pierce here, then we could flash back the deep analysis. Flash back. Certainly recovered from our uh, slow start there. Once again, let's pass the turn. Okay, they're tapping. Brainstorming again. They have one more Squadron Hawk to clear the Brainstorm with. But Squadron Hawk's going to fail to find, so it's just the shuffle effect right now. There is the gate. They gate the Guardian. They're going to swing for nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All Faithful. Preordain looking for a snap. Because if I snap the Squadron Hawk, then uh, I can attack with my Vector Glider and kill two Hawks. Now, they're attacking for nine every turn right now. We just have to uh, we did find a snap. I guess I'll take Faithful as well. This is going to chug us a lot, so later on we're going to have to really deal with um, handling not getting wrecked by uh, time. Although they're not yielding to any of my triggers, so it's causing them more time than it's causing me. Draw some cards. Play a Vector Glider, or Modern Age. Let's discard this. Planes. I'll attack you. At this point, if they want to kill two hawks just to kill the vector glider, it's probably fine. I'll say okay to that. They say okay as well. We're in a deep analysis. Okay, that resolves. We're at seven cards in hand, maybe. Oh, it didn't resolve yet. They're considering countering. Hmm. Don't counter. We have a counter spell lined up for next turn. Pass. They make a treasure with the heap gate, sure. Brainstorm. We found our other Archaeum answer. So if we can get Flicker, we can just attack them in the air. We did lose a Modern Age, so our clock's not that strong. They brainstorm. Now they have a Modern Age to discard. They discard a land. They're looking for more Basilisk gates. But right now, I'm pretty much just F6. I don't really care what they're doing. They attack for 9, 10, sure. OK. On a loose focus, I'll discard this island, play a Mole Drifter. They have a counter spell. I can just cast Loose Focus here since it's. Oh no, they have to use their treasure token. I kind of forgot about that. Darn it. Forgot they had the treasure token there. They might have forgotten as well. Let's see. They're going to pay. Watch them pay first. Counter spell their counter spell. Gaining billions of life. Okay, Mole Drifter is resolving. Play the Chancery. Pick up the island, back with the Dawnbringer Cleric. They triple block, so now we can snap their Sacred Cat. Kill a Sacred Cat. Play our Cam Answer. Get back the Counter Spell. And then play Modern Age. See what we want to discard here. I guess it's going to be Broker's Hideout. Next turn we'll discard the island. Play the Chancery picking up, I'm not the island, but the planes here. Play the chance of picking up an island. Now we're just hanging out, waiting for the game to end, basically. They have prismatic strands. They're going to modern age. I mean, we're so far ahead. Like, what are they going to do? They discard their last hawk. They'll probably start gating the cat just to, like, stall. It's kind of lame. Fine, though. Do I have an ephemerate? No. All my deep analysis are gone. They bring back a cat. They're at 32. We get to discard this. Okay, we find an ephemerate. All right, I'll go ahead and attack. They take it. Draw two card. Draw three cards. Game is very over right now. We have a snap. Let's snap this cat. They dispel, so I'll just counterspell their dispel. Ephemerate. Grab the snap again. Ephemerate. Grab the counterspell. Snap this one. Tap my lands, draw three cards again. Doo -doo -doo. Another Mancer. Okay, let's go land. Sunscape familiar. Play Arcane Mancer. Let's get back a snap. Pass the turn. We're at 59. What's your plan, my friend? 
they discard a planes. Okay. We're over we're almost two minutes ahead on clock. There's another guardian. I don't care about that. I mean it stops my ground pounders, but it's fine. Sacred Cat is annoying. I'm just gonna counterspell the Sacred Cat here. That way when they embalm it, I can snap it. So they don't have this life gain nonsense. They embalm the Sacred Cat as expected. Play a land. They're out of cards in hand. I'm gonna ephemerate the Moldra the Arcane Answer. Ephemerate. Now I gotta move fast. Uh I wanna pop out this window here so it's always there. Ephemerate again. Move this trigger down here. Got a yield. I'm gonna start by attacking. Boop boop. Found the flicker. Flicker here. I meant to flicker the uh, Dahmer cleric. That was a mistake. Okay. We'll snap your sacred cat. We should really snap our own uh, things now. Let's play modern age. Uh, I think I want to respond to this by snapping my faithful flicker. I'm getting back the snaps now. Snapping the faithfuls for time saving purposes. Faithful. Memory the arcane answer for counterspell. Memory for snap. Snap the faithful. Flicker. Back to snap again. Snap the faithful. Okay. Discard a faithful. And then flicker here. Exile your strands. Destroy your vector glider. Destroy your other vector glider. Get back all my stuff. Flicker. I'm trying to draw into my Mortuary Mire here. It's the last card in the deck we're going to be hosed. There we go. Mortuary Mire. Back to Faithful. Let's flicker here to put back a Mole Drifter. Cast a Mole Drifter. Now I'm going to F6. Discard, discard, discard. Discarding all of the Faithfuls. Now we can stack the deck again. We have Counterspell for whatever the spell they play. And I'm just going to flicker back the Counterspell. All right. The time wasting has begun. We have currently eight power. Right. Just gotta put the creatures back on top and then go for it. I really hope I don't time out. I'd be really pissed. <laughs> right. Draw and discard. Play a land. Hack. Now I'm just putting creatures on top of the deck. Six. Discard. Discard. So now we don't want to use the ephemerates because it takes more time with upkeeps and everything. They can block two of our creatures. So we want to attack with everything. We'll attack with everything and just flicker the uh, arcane answers or whatever. Getting back the loose focus, I guess. Now we're going to go to end step, discard, discard. Counter spell. They're going to. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four. We're clicking, spam clicking same targets. I clicked yield through this turn, and then I'm going to go my turn, yield until here. So that gives me the uh, least amount of stuff happening on my turn. And I'm just going to yield until beginning combat, attack all, and then just hold the OK key. Blockers and stuff, maximizing. They're, they didn't double block, I'm surprised. GG. <laughs> okay, so we have to move faster. The so post board, destroy evil is pretty good. Nature's Chant, Dahmer and Cleric, don't really need. Um, I think I can afford to cut one snap. I don't really like the loose focus here. That was not very good. So let's bring in Honor Spell Negate. And then I'm gonna cut a land on the draw again. Submit. Now I have to just play like crazy fast. <laughs> Keep. I'm gonna cycle for the dual land right away. I just feel like that allows me to counterspell something, but it was not that great. It cast a brainstorm. If I'd gotten a regular island, I could play the island and then counterspell a squadron hawk on turn three. All right, play the chancery. I'm gonna discard this second chancery here. Modern age for the opponent. Discarding a sacred cat. Did not find a land. That was turn three, right? Let's just blow up their modern age. Play the floodplain and pass the turn. Plays another modern age. Discarding another cat. Finding a land now brings back the cat. Okay. Find a counter spell. I'll pass. You're gonna loot. Discarding a Dawnbringer Cleric, playing a land. Gets back the cat. Okay. Gets in for one. Take it. We have so many five drops in our hand. Let's preordain. Because I 
bottom the mold drifter at this point top to chancery play land so unfortunately i'm holding counterspell for the uh guardian and i'm getting beat down by these little creatures i cycle lauren revealed i feel that time clock i'm just like moving fast i will counter squadron hawk they're gonna counter spell my counter so i think now i just slam the mold drifter we get in for two we don't currently have a basilisk gate drifter for us find an ephemerate let's chancery back this floodplain and discard this island or planes. We have Drifter Ephemerate. A journey to nowhere, the Mole Drifter. Okay, they're gonna attack for a bunch. So they have the they have another hawk. Lots of damage. Getting in. We find a faithful. No. Puritan. Alright, we're just going to uh, play island and go drifter ephemerate. Ephemerate the mole drifter. They have a counter spell. We have another counter spell. Donk. We draw some cards. Okay, we have multiple Faithfuls now. Play the Faithful. That's the turn. So we won't lose our Ephemerate if this gets journeyed. They're going to cast a Guardian now. Oh, Lorien revealed. Okay. They draw three cards. Now they have a Basilisk Gate. Turning nowhere on the Mole Drifter. Okay. We have to Ephemerate our Faithful. Faithful. Beardane. Right now it's four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Bottom both of these. Nap a cat. Tap. Let's cast Lauren Reveal, draw three cards. Go to 13. We have a Drifter Ephemerate. Let's Modern Age. Discarding. I guess it's the Floodplain here. Well, the Ash Barons, because we don't have anything to play, so we'll play the Floodplain. Opponent gates their cat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going to block. We'll go to six. They have a Guardian of the Guild Pack, so that's six damage unblockable next turn. We have a, some good cards here. So faithful or familiar. Here it is, stupid cat. Untap. Let's drift or ephemerate. Looking for um, an arcane answer. Draw another uh, faithful. A faithful. A sunscape familiar. Draw two cards. Arcane answer is great. You can snap your squadron hawk. Untap. Play arcane answer. Ephemerate for the destroy evil. Blow up the journey. Get another mold drifter in play. Okay, that was a lot of stuff. Your turn. We're at 19. They're casting a Lorien Revealed. Plays a land, so they can now attack for seven unblockable. They decide to go Sacred Cat instead. So they probably just want to stall with uh, life. life gain. Ephemerate. Back Ephemerate. I don't know if the cat was in hand or not. I will negate their Pyroblast. Seems like they should have done that on the first Ephemerate, though. Ephemerate. Back. Snap. Snap this thing. Untap. Draw two cards. And then I'm going to attack with both my Mold Drifters and Ephemerate the other Mold Drifter. Ephemerate the, unblocked, the blocked Mold Drifter. Draw two cards. Find a Snap. So let's go ahead and Snap. This mole drifter, tap, take two. Can play another familiar. A modern age, discarding the faithful. I think now I feel like there's plenty of time. Another modern age, discard another familiar. I'm a mole drifter. They're at 30 life. Is there anything in there that I care about? No. Let's draw two cards or three cards. And another arcane answer. I'll get back the destroy evil. Get back the negate. Return. We have six minutes to deal 30 damage. I feel like it's enough time. Sacred Cat comes back. Water Hawk. Lots of long games right now. We need to know where on what? Mold Drifter? Gets rid of the Vector Glider. Okay. Plays another Squadron Hawk. Land. Two cards in hand. Ephemerate the Arcane Master. Back Ephemerate. Do it over and over. Kind of preordain looking for the flicker. Draw and discard this. On a journey, the uh, nature's chant, that's good. Nature's chant, the mole drifter uh, journey. Preordain. Bottom and bottom. 
the arcane answer. Go ahead and get back the nature's chant. Nature's chant there, vector glider. I'm ready for a snap. I'm ready for another snap. Dream Meyer, get back. Faithful or whatever creature on top. I have negate in hand. And so here, snap will just kill a squadron hawk. We can play another mole drifter. We have plenty of uh, power in the air. All right, discard the familiar and the broker's hideout. We play a Seagate. We have 445 on the clock. I think we're fine. We're going to use the Squadron Hawk. Another Hawk. So my main concern here is Relic, and I'm holding up the Negate for that specifically. I'm going to auto yield to this. Lock with the Faithful. And snap the Faithful. It gated up the, skate, the Sacred Cat for time purposes. It's better for me to get the Faithful off the table anyway. Okay, my turn. Ephemerate. Back the Ephemerate. Do it again. Hmm. There's the flicker. So island. Back with my creatures. All right, so we'll go flicker and snap a hawk. I think I'm going to snap my uh, faithfuls actually here. Back the snap. Flicker for snap again. There's plenty of time. I'm getting really stressed out, but there's still plenty of time. Back snap. Flicker to, for to get back. Counterspell. Three minutes. Easy peasy. Bounce that. Oops, I messed up. I should have bounced my faithful. Bounce the faithful. Okay. Take six. Discard, 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 and discard. Preordain, we will negate. Hunter spell. Squadron Hawk. They're going to gate up the Sacred Cat again. Sure. I will block with the Arcane Answer. Flicker back the counter spell. Flicker back the negate. Flicker back a counter spell. And flicker back a snap. There we go. Okay. My turn. Land. Back with everything. Block a game answer. I'm going to just go ahead and snap this sacred cat right now. And then flicker. Get rid of the modern age. They're currently at 10. We have a bunch of damage in the air. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We don't have to do anything. We just have to counter whatever their thing is, and then they're dead. One card in the library. Land. So you can do right click attack all. Attack all. Attack all. All right, thanks for the memories. We'll see you in round four. Round four, we're on the play. I don't know what Totem Silence is playing. We can't keep this hand. Uh, they said, hi, good luck. That was nice of them. I think we keep this. Put back the Barons. You can just grab the planes and play the faithful on turn two and the chancery. It's not great to start with uh, planes chancery because you have very little blue sources, but we have preordain coming up and the familiar into preordain. They're on land novice inspector. Planes novice inspector makes me think it's either blue white affinity or it is like white weenie. A lot of people are playing planes, especially like a uh, fancy guru planes. Yeah, there's an easy block. Let's see if they have a uh, land bolt. It could be Boros. Yep, okay. Plays a Glenhawk and picks up their land or the clue? Picks up the clue. That's very aggressive. I'm just going to go familiar into Preordain. Uh, I'll, take, I'll take both of these. So if they don't kill the familiar, we can snap the Glenhawk and play the Moldrifter with the Floodplain as well as use the preordain or we can just play the modern age and the mold drifter about three four five mana just four five mana i mean we definitely want to get the mold drifter in play and the i mean the modern age i want to get the modern age in play as soon as possible so that we can start chump or not blocking chump blocking but just straight up blocking the glen hawks they play a wedding invitation so we don't want to be snapping their glen hawks now kills the familiar Disappointing. We need to say, hang on to this snap here. Let's play the Modern Age. So, pretty smart of them to go after the uh, Faithful there. Let's get rid of the Preordain, play the Floodplain, so that next turn we can hard cast the Mole Drifter. They've used seven total damage though, and they have three coming in every every turn. We're trying to find another um, Faithful. Looks like they do have the Glitters here. 
It glitters on the hawk. They're going to attack for 7, 8 damage. But we can discard the planes. Go for a snap on the hawk. Then play this. If we draw into an ephemerate, then we can hold it. Faithful. All right, let's play the faithful out. Sorry if there's some background noise. My computer is extremely unhappy with all the uh, processing going on right now. We play a Lembus. Try top. Scary. Sky Fisher back the Lembus, most likely. So we need something to draw cards with. We'll be almost 20% of the way through the deck soon. One Mold Drifter was good, though. Our Cam Answer. So we can Sunscape or er, play this familiar. And then we play our Cam Answer. So we can get back Snap right now or get back Preordain. I think I'm just going to Preordain. We have multiple blockers, but they have the wedding invitation regardless. I'm going to bottom both of these. Finding a Lorien Revealed is great. We can cast Lorien Revealed holding up two mana from the floodplain in an island. The Limbus, they're digging for another all that glitters. One, two, three, four. Last time it was plus five. Be plus six or plus seven this turn. I think that post board I should probably be leaning on the negates and like two negates and one counter spell here, as well as a couple of nature's chants because the nature's chant can handle the uh, glitters, but also can deal with relic. We're kind of kind of adjust the sideboarding plan post board. When it plays a land, they still haven't replayed their uh, hawk yet. They seem to be considering their their play, and I just don't really understand what's going on. They have two mana op They have two mana tapped, right? So they're probably just gonna play glitters and then wedding invitation. Like, why wouldn't you? Yep, eight. Sure. I will block if you don't wedding invitation, and if you do, then it's seven damage. I'll go to five. Lauren revealed going back up to six. Okay, take seven, we go to five. Not dead to a Galvanic. As the Glenhawk, they can pick up the Lembus. They do. I find an Ephemerate. Let's draw three. One rare Cleric. And blow up the All That Glitters. That's the turn. They seem to be F6 there, so I maybe should have gone for Ephemerate Snap to try to get up to seven life. Right now, if they have double bolt, we're dead. Looks like they have one bolt. They might be considering going after the vector glider, though. Playing a synthesizer, okay. They find a planes. I think they have not played a land yet, so they can play the planes. Fs for a mana. Another Glenhawk. Probably pick up the synth again. They find a mountain off the synth, so they can prioritize white or red mana here. Let's see how that shakes out. Plays a synth instead. Finding a lightning bolt. So they can go Mountain Lightning Bolt now. But what would they bolt? Maybe the Arcane Answer? It's good that they just waited on the, the mana to see it as much as possible to actually get the value out of it. If they played the planes initially, initially they would have just lost that Lightning Bolt. So some tight play there. Goes after the Vector Glider. Wings for four. I put my um, Mire on the bottom of the deck, but I'm still going to block since our life total is so low. Let's play Sunscape Familiar and lead on a deep analysis. Another deep analysis. Draw some cards. Go to three. Finding a loose focus. <sighs> Obviously, we have to do something here. An ephemerate, uh, Archaeum Answer, and Snap. Snapping the Skyfisher. Going to four life. Then we'll have to pass the turn. I just have to hope that this guy Fisher doesn't see anything awesome. Find a novice inspector. Uh, one thing I didn't do, but I could do here is snap and replay the arcane answer a couple of times to gain some life. It may have been the correct play. Plays a synthesizer. Finds a seeker of the way. Okay. I don't see a world in which they don't play the seeker of the way. They play a great furnace from hand. They've got two cards in hand. Get in for two. I can't do anything about it. All right, I guess we're dead. Seems like uh, they knew what to do, getting rid of the faithfuls and stuff. They have exactly four mana, so they can pay for the lose focus. We go to three, and then negative one. So if I had snapped the Arcane Answer a couple of times, we might have won that. We want Nature's Chance and Negates. Maybe like this. 
this, cut this, cut this, this. He won cards. I'm on the play this time. I'm gonna trim on one deep analysis. Well, maybe an ephemerate. Hard to say. Deep analysis is really good versus their deck, obviously. What is the least good card here? I'm thinking about the Hydroblast or the Nature's Chant, the Ephemerate or an Island. I'm gonna cut the Ephemerate, submit. I still want all the lands so that I have a good opener. Hmm. Okay, we're on the play. Got a mulligan. All right, this is a decent hand. Keep back Ash Barons. We just, our turn one and two is kind of weak. Turn three is Faithful into Modern Age. But we really need the Faithfuls in play. <clears throat> they play Ginger Brute. Okay, go to 19. And pass the turn, pick up the island. They play an Ancient Den. Flitters immediately. Dang. Brutal. Uh, go Faithful. Beardain. Go Hydroblast. Bottom this. I guess the Hydroblast is okay here. Land. That's the turn. That is really sucky to just get Ginger rooted on turn two. Our opponent plays a Wedding Invitation, so they can hit us for six this turn. Draws a card. We basically have to just draw a snap off the top. Maybe I should have mulliganed the Hydroblast. I just felt like the Hydroblast could protect me against a uh, Galvanic on the Faithful. Plays a Mountain. Gets in for six. Uh, I could have blocked there. Oh well, I didn't block. Go Faithful. I'm gonna die to a bold. Uh, Chancery back the island. Play the Modern Age. I guess this turn I try to block. They might just have a, a Pyroblast. I mean, we're under the gun here. They just, they had the nuts. And they also cannot take actions to save their life, apparently. <laughs> so assuming that this resolves, and they don't, and like we draw a snap, we can protect the snap. They red blast, but did not resolve. Guess I have to block here. I'll allow it. Will you let me block? Play synthesizer. Finding a relic. Jeez. Come on, opponent. We have no shot now. They really have another glitters here. What are you thinking about, my friend? Just play it. Quite boring. Sorry, everybody. I'm glad that I get to uh, cut some of the dead air out. Okay, they play the Relic. I like my Modern Age. The land. The creature unblockable. We have to rip one of six cards. Play the Modern Age. And I find it. What a way to go. That's really disappointing. Uh, I mean, come on. It was four cards down. All right. See you in round five. This is round four or five, because we're three and one. Reverse Paulo Cabral. If he's playing Turbo Initiative, it'll be very sad. It looks like he's on Glitter's Affinity. So we have grab a planes. If we um, we don't have an up preordain, we probably just grab the dual land. Plays a Thraven Inspector and a Springleaf Drum. Get the dual land. We're starting really slow here. So we need to find, quickly find a uh, snap. Got Novice Inspector, Glitterino, bad news. We go to 13, cycle for an island, for the island. Maybe I should have looked for a more aggressive hand. Discard the Ephemerate, I guess. I don't know. This is nine damage. So we could just be dead here. Yeah. I'm uh, I knew that they were probably on glitters. I guess I should have mulliganed a little bit harder. Got a little bit lost. Too free. 1920 on turn four on the on the play. So we have a lot of uh, sideboard cards for this. We're gonna get rid of a bunch of these slower cards. Bring it into gate. Also, cut kind of an ephemerate here. Okay, so we know what to do we're on the play. Um, I'm gonna keep this. It's strange we have tap line into modern age, so we can probably discard another modern age, play a modern age on turn two or turn, and turn three. That's the turn. We do have the snap. Play a bridge. Just jam a modern age here. Guard the modern age. I'm probably 
discarding preordain or modern age, cycling for an I cycling for a planes and playing the familiar. All right. Guess I'm gonna get rid of the preordain here. Cycle for a planes. Play the planes. Play the familiar. They cannot currently counterspell me. They have thought cast for two mana. We have one of our we have two of our interactions. There's a spring leaf drum. They cannot currently metallic rebuke. I'm gonna play a relic. Go to my Ash Barons. I'm gonna Chancery. Picking up the planes, play a modern age. Discard the planes. Your turn. They'll probably use the relic here. Three mana. Plays an of one mine for three mana, full price. So they don't have really any creatures. They must be on a highly interactive hand. Plays a Thraven Inspector. Now they have of one mine mana, or not of one mine, Metallic Rebuke available. Does not uh, eat my card. Kind of weird. Okay, there goes the planes. We find a preordain and a deep analysis. We get rid of the preordain. Go land deep analysis myself. So I will snap the vector glider. Untap. Pay for the rebuke. Draw. And draw some more. Novice Inspector for Apollo. They draw a card with the clue. Plays the seat of the synod. I'm gonna eat a preordain. I should actually eat the modern age here because I can't get that back. It's in for two, uh, one damage after the blocks. Okay. All right, we get the vector glider here. So we can force the crack on the relic, I guess. Play Arcane Answer for snap. They crack the relic. All right. Let's uh, try for a preordain. Island and Alluring Revealed. I think I'm going to bottom both of these. Mole Drifter. Let's see if Faithful resolves. They might just counter it, which is probably fine. Okay, Modern Age. And I can discard the Deep Analysis likely here. I can just draw two for one mana next turn. We have defense. They don't have any unblockables. We're at 17 life. On the next turn, we can Drifter, Flicker, Drifter potentially. All right. Discard the Deep Analysis. That means that uh, coming up, we have infinite life with Familiar and Flicker on Arcane Answer Island. We can just attack. All right, they're going to crack a clue. Plays the Plains. Ginger Brute can be unblockable. They're going to Glitters the Ginger Brute, it looks like. That's nine damage. You just have two glitters? No. You're gonna swing nine. Okay. Draw and discard. Discard the faithful. We're gonna destroy evil. Blow this up. Got a turn aside, which is nonsense. Let's deep analysis. But we're probably just dead here, which is really frustrating. Cloak the Moldrifter, try to draw some cards, draw into a snap. I could have blown up the all the glitters and played it. No, that they wouldn't have mattered. Okay. God damn. Okay, I'm really upset about this turn of events. If I draw a planes, maybe this will work. You just keep a hand that has plenty of interaction and die anyway, I guess. Uh, nothing I could do. Lame. Okay, we're here in round six. This is for the 4-2. We're up against Boom Bust, who's a burn player. We had to mulligan. This hand is not very good either. But it does things. So I'm gonna keep it, play the island and pass. We'll see if they are on burn. Yep. They don't do anything. So let's island pass again. We have double loose focus. Boros, okay. So maybe they're on the Boros uh glitter stack or Boros synth. Would have really liked to uh know that. I could have gotten through a couple of could have maybe found a land this turn, but I didn't. Synthesizer for the opponent. Makeshift munitions. Hmm. Pass. Okay, we're gonna discard Emirate, play the gl Glacial Floodplain, and pass the turn. I feel like we're pretty solid here. Uh, we can counter counter this other synthesizer because they were stuck on lands before. Kind of faithful. So it probably makes sense to go faithful into deep analysis. Draw two. Looking for another land. They cannot kill the faithful right now. And bolt the glider. That doesn't matter though. The okay, island pass the turn. So after this, we have familiar hold up loose focus. Play wedding invitation. So now we know it's Boros synth. 
uh, with glitters. Familiar, that's the turn. Maybe it was better. Man, I feel like I'm just not really on my game this, this league. Not league, but challenge. Like, should I have just played the deep analysis there? Maybe. Bolt on the familiar. Let's just uh, save it. I feel like at this point, I want to go familiar into deep analysis on the next turn, but maybe I just go deep analysis, deep analysis. So no bolt on the familiar, please. You can waste another bolt on it if you want. So in this case, where they had two mana open, you have to pay two mana for loose focus, making it about the same as counterspell. But there are times when loose focus is just better than counterspell. Okay, Galvanic Blast kills my familiar. They've wasted a lot of burn spells. Found an island. Let's uh, draw that and then go ahead and deep analysis. Okay, we have a land drop lined up again. We can familiar, Greer Dane. Let's see what's up. The Ephemerate makes me want to look for a Mold Drifter so I can uh, Drifter Ephemerate. But they don't have any creatures whatsoever, which is really good for me. Now they have, of course, Skyfisher, of course. Of course, Skyfisher. And they return their wedding invitation. It's a little bit of a surprise. I'm just going to wine draw a card with the wedding invitation. Or are they going to glitters? Play the wedding invitation. So I'm looking for a snap. Let's see. Preordain. Arcane Mancer. Okay, let's top these. Play Mancer, getting back the Ephemerate. And then play the Chancery. Picking this up. We don't have a um, snap yet. Plays another core Skyfisher, probably picking up the Synth now. They do pick up the Synthesizer, finding a Thraven Inspector. Let's see if they replay the Synthesizer, and they do. It's okay, they found the Great Furnace. Play the Thraven Inspector. All right. They're going to hit us for two, putting us to 20. So you can see that obviously Loose Fit, or God for Us Faithful is quite good. Plays a Ginger Brute. The thing that killed us before. Let's play a Sunscape Familiar and draw two cards. I'm leaving up the white from the floodplain so I can use maybe cast the Ephemerate. I didn't find anything there. So let's just go Familiar and Archaeomancer getting back a Preordain. I think that's more important than just a straight up draw three. We'll find out. I've got to be digging for um, snaps now. Glitters on the Ginger Brute. They have 14 damage. Does have two glitters? This is so dumb. This is ridiculously dumb, I gotta say. <laughs> okay. GG. That was really dumb. But, you know, maybe something will happen. Let's see. Let's bring in the Nature's Chance. Bring the Hydroblast. I'll cut one island. Maybe the. I do need the Arcane Mancers to win the game eventually. Got a deep analysis. Or a Hydroblast or a Counterspell. Let's just bring Counterspell as we go. Negate, negate, Counterspell. A bunch of interaction. Just force through eventually. It's hard to describe how tilting it is to continuously just face glitters. Like, they didn't do anything and they just said, boom, boom, you're dead. Um, Yeah. Okay, we would like to play first. Let's see if we can beat this nonsense. So... Our hand has a snap and an ephemerate and a deep analysis. Snap is like pretty bad versus their deck, maybe though. So maybe I should have gone for like one um, last breath instead of a snap. Play this, pass the turn. We can cycle the Lorien revealed for an island and then play the Chancery, pick up the Ash Barons. Okay. Pick up the Ash Barons. Cycle again. Grabbing an island. So turn four, we're going to Mancer for the Lorien revealed again. A synthesizer, finding a galvanic blast. They can just deal me four damage straight up. Nice. Okay, I found a familiar. I'll play that. I can save the familiar with a snap, and then I can arcane mancer back the snap on a following turn. Go galvanic. I'll try to save the familiar. They don't do anything about it. Okay. So they probably don't have pyroblast in hand. But they could. Let's try to play an arcane mancer for the snap. They play a glenhawk. They're going to pick up the Synthesizer. They could also pick up a land, but that doesn't make that much sense. They find a Synthesizer in the Exile. Plays a Synthesizer. Finding a Mountain. So we have a Counterspell now. I'll play out my Familiar. Let's Counterspell your Glenhawk. If they tap out, we can snap an Ephemerate for Counterspell. Plays Makeshift Munitions. Okay. Get in for two. Alright, let's attack with the Arcane Mancer. Tap these. Play the Chancery. Pick up the Island. Going to Ephemerate the Arcane Mancer, trying to get back Counterspell. 
My expectation is that they're gonna shoot it with the makeshift munitions. Okay. And we can snap it, play our K-Mancer for, for, for Ephemerate for Counterspell. Snap. Ephemerate fizzles. Play our K-Mancer. Back the Ephemerate. And Ephemerate. Back Counterspell. That's the turn. If they blow up two of their things, play a Synthesizer. <sighs> Finding a Pyroblast. Okay. If they go Pyroblast on their K-Mancer, I will play Counterspell. Counterspell. Okay, so now we're going to be able to ephemerate again. Ephemerate here. Back the ephemerate. Okay, Godfaro's faithful. Let's draw some cards. I'm going to go evoke the mole drifter and ephemerate the mole drifter. All right, your turn. They can shoot down the mole drifter and then play some cards, I guess. We found another snap, which is good. Also familiar. I need to find a nature's chance so I can take out this makeshift munitions. Two mana. Playing all the glitters. So are you going to take out the Mold Drifter now? No, they just want to attack for a lot. Okay. They're going to attack for nine. Uh huh. They're imbalanced. Let's go ahead and Ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Back the Ephemerate. Play Ephemerate. Get back Counterspell since we drew a snap. We'll snap this. Untap. Play this Sun's Gate Familiar. Evoke the Mold Drifter. Snap the Mold Drifter, and then that'll like give us more mana. We're just chilling on mana. And tap. Okay, play God for us faithful. Let's play a Mold Drifter. I'll leave enough mana to cast Lorien Revealed if I want. Another snap. Let's cast the Lorien Revealed, draw three. Finding a faithful. Let's go island into modern age. I think I will discard the Chancery here. Hmm. I mean, the Floodplain is probably the worst card of all of these. The Chancery and the Floodplain are both kind of medium. Let's discard the Chancery and attack for two. Okay, so we're not dead. <laughs> we have a Counterspell. They're going to go to 17. Okay, one thing I'm realizing is that maybe I could just go, like, snap my Arcane Answer, play Familiar, play Arcane Answer, snap the Arcane Answer, play the Arcane Answer again, just for a life gain buffer. This is going to stop me from being able to uh, hold up Counterspell, though. The God for us Faithful. The Arcane Answer. Get back to Snap again. We're at 19. We have Triple Faithful on board. We win the game. So we're 1-1 one one now. I think I'm just going to keep the deck the way it was. The way that I set it up. But maybe that... Maybe I just want to go back to 19 lands. Just have better mulligans. All right, this hand is good. Um, we are on the draw, so we have to go land, tap land, turn three, faithful, do something. And then we have to figure out what we want to discard. Looks like it's probably going to be one of the chanceries. Go for a relic, play the chancery, pick up the island, and go for a pre name, A land and a familiar. I guess we could just discard one island. They eat my pre name. We're going to discard an island, I think. They play a Synthesizer. Finding a Thraven Inspector. Okay, so here we can do some stuff. They didn't find a third land, right? So we can go land, play Sunscape Familiar, snap the Thraven Inspector, untap these lands, play God Pharaoh's Faithful, play Modern Age, discard the Deep Analysis, draw two. Pretty solid. I mean, our snap is gone to the relic, but they they don't have anything going on. They can replay the. Okay, they're gonna Glenhawk picking up the synth, trying to find a land. They find a great furnace, quite good for them. They can synth again if they want, or take out the familiar. They take out the familiar. We'll get rid of the snap, I guess. Draw, discard this planes. Go ahead and blow up your relic. So on a later turn, we can Arcane Answer back the Nature's Chant. They crack the Relic. Yep. And in here, we can Preordain, play the Chancery, and untap with a bunch of mana on the next turn. We're going to bottom these lands. This up. Okay. Still a 20 life. Synthesizer for the opponent, finding another Novice Inspector. Raven Inspector effect. Play the Novice Inspector. They're inspecting. Getting in. Okay. 
So they seem to not have, they didn't play something when they could have because they had a Thraven Inspector in hand, making me think they want to either crack the clue or go for a Pyroblast. We have Mortuary Mire to get back a countered creature, so I'm going to play Arcane Answer for the Nature's Chant. I'm expecting a Pyroblast here, and then I'll play Mortuary Mire to put the Arcane Answer back on top. Oops. No attacks. Play the Mortuary Mire, get the Arcane Answer back. This means next turn we can play the Arcane Answer to get back to Nature's Chant again and have that ready for uh, handling a Glitters. They bolt the Vector Glider. So I guess they probably have glitters in hand. Sucks. Plays wedding invitation. Land. Glitters. Got a 10-10 that we're facing down. Or a donk. All right, we'll go land. Play our cam answer. Give another pyroblast. Okay. Bottom, top this. We played a land. Let's just cycle. An island. So we're dead to any one single thing this is well i'm pretty disappointed here about how this run went um i do think that this boros deck is kind of medium but obviously my deck did not line up very well so we went three and three uh kind of mid challenge but I gl i'm glad i got to try so unfortunate result did not make the top eight by any long shot so hopefully you enjoyed we'll see you in the next video and uh ban all that glitters bye